Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to do a product demo of the Fringe Sport Sandbag Trainer. This is the large size. Um, I'm going to compare it to a similar sandbag trainer uh, from Rogue. We're going to look at the materials, we're going to look at the uh, fillers and the increments, how it's sold, and then we're going to do a price comparison at the end. So, hope you find this video useful. Sandbags are an awesome and affordable addition to your gym. Sandbags are unique in their ability to build core stability. The nature of sandbag training is such that you have to work very hard to control the constantly shifting center of mass. They're superior to barbells and dumbbells in their ability to mimic real-world applications of strength and endurance. As you perform movements, the sandbag's center of mass constantly shifts, thereby challenging the user to make macro and micro muscular adjustments in order to stabilize that external load. Sandbags are also unique in that they can be used virtually anywhere and can be easily transported. Going on vacation? Pack this into your suitcase and load it up with the sands of Cancun to get a powerful workout before cashing in on some powerful margaritas. Taking a trip to the mountain cabin? Stash one in your pack and load it with dirt when you get there. Sandbags are awesome in their ability to help you get the job done wherever you go. The French Sport Sandbag Trainer is 30 inches long by 10 inches wide and weighs in at 2 pounds. The large trainer, which we're showing here, can comfortably hold up to 100 pounds of weight. The large bag also comes with two top handles at 8 inches and then two side handles that are 4.5 inches. The material is military grade cordura and Velcro. As you can see, the YKK zipper is protected by a Velcro closure, and that prevents failure, so it's a <clears throat> redundant system, um, and guarantees performance by shedding set. The Vel Velcro material here does not hold set, uh, sand very well. Um, one of the really nice aspects of the uh, trainer here is the filler system that French Sport utilizes. The bags are offered with a variety of filler options, um, including increments of 10, 20, and 40 pounds. These increments enable you to very quickly and easily adjust the bag's weight. I chose a set of a single 40 pound filler and four 10 fillers. Um, and you can see I did not fill these all the way up. Right? There's a bit of room here that's left over. And um, you know that's done deliberately and that was designed deliberately. That's a good thing. You don't want to fill these up to the brim because generally you want there to be some movement of the loading in order to get the desired stimulus. And then also the Velcro closures will hold the material in better uh, when there's some give in that material. Uh, the fillers are very thick and made of very durable material here. Here's the 40 pound one. And I'll open it up. So here's the double sided Velcro closure. So you can see there's Velcro on both sides. And I have slammed these around a bunch so far and have experienced no leaking sand whatsoever. The materials are double stitched and box stitched at the stress points. You can see that here, the box stitching at the stress points. Um, and then the lashing helps to reinforce the entire bag, um, allowing for heavy loads, again, going up to uh, 100 pounds here. So given how these are made, um, you know, the, the truth is they're going to be able to take an absolute beating. They're going to, you can beat the absolute crap out of these bags and they're going to withstand more than you can in the workout. Okay. So now let's compare the price. So the road bag that I was just showing you is the large size, but the uh, real comparison for the fringe sport would be rogues medium uh, size bag. So the fringe sport that we just showed, um, holds up to 100 pounds in, in weight, and that's the large size. 
Um, Rogue has a medium bag that holds up to 80 pounds. The one I showed you holds up to 160. Um, so this is the better comparison. Holds up to 80. Now, the filler cost for Fringe Sport, there's a little bit of variety, but um, it's generally, it's, it, it's, it's kind of baked into the cost of the bag. With Rogue, you're buying the bag separate, and then you're buying the filler separately. And there's a huge difference here, you can see, in, in the cost of the fillers. So if you want to, um, if you were to go with a fringe sport bag, you'd be looking at kind of an all-in cost of anywhere between 80 and 112. 112 is pretty much the everyday price. You can catch them on sale uh, pretty frequently for around 80. And again, that includes, um, for me, this included uh, 80 pounds in, in weight, you know, the 40 and the uh, um, four, four by tens. Um, so that brought it up to, is price here. Now with the Rogue Fitness, the bag on itself uh, for the medium is $90. So really just the bag without any fillers is essentially about the same cost as all in for Fringe Sport. The fillers for Rogue are anywhere between 45 and 65 depending on the size. So if you want to get a medium bag, you could get a minimum of two fillers at 55 pounds a piece. That'd be $110. And that's how you could get your 80 pounds. But if you want a little bit more options in terms of increments of weight, you could go with um, four filler bags. But four filler bags is gonna cost you 220. So you can get with French Sport, 100 pound capacity bag with five uh, filler bags gives you a great variety and in, in increments for you know this price range. But to do something very similar at Rogue is gonna cost you around 310. Um, so you can clearly see there's a great value here in the French Sport.